Hey guys, it's Tampa Tech. In this video, I'm going to discuss what phones have the highest SAR rating and do cell phones cause cancer? Now, SAR rating basically means specific absorption rate, radio frequency, electromagnetic field, and how it's um, absorbed and exposed to your body. Now, the FCC has the legal limit of a 1.6 SAR rating, and these are the phones that are the highest SAR rating. Now, LG 150 phone has been recalled by LG as a SAR rating of a 2. Uh, Motorola is next on the list. EX245 SAR rating 1.96. Following down the list is Samsung S5510T model is a SAR rating 1.89. And then followed by Motorola V195S model is right at the FCC legal limit is a 1.6 SAR rating. But um, let's go ahead and type in my, my phone. My phone is a Samsung S5. Oh, I'm screwed. Samsung S5 is a 1.58. That's kind of high. And let's check out um, another popular brand, the Note series. And the Note series is a 1.50, which is a little bit lower. And look down here, the Note 4 is a 1.2. So look, the Samsung Note is like really low. It's a 0 0.66. The first version, you would think the first version would be higher, it's our rating. And let's check out the iPhone. A lot of people have iPhones. And iPhone 3G is the highest SAR rating for the iPhones, 1.388, whereas the first version of iPhone is a 0 0.974. You would think the first version would be a higher SAR rating. And it looks like the new iPhone 6 is a 1.18 SAR rating, falling right in the middle. If you want to like, plug in your phone, just click on the link video description below. Uh, there's a link right, right there. and. It'll take you right to my blog, and my blog tells you more information how SAR radiation affects you. And also, right here, you can see there's the link right there that if you want to click on that, it'll take you right to this website where you can just basically plug in right here your phone. Now, uh, cancer.org right here, cancer.org, does cell phones cause cancer? Well, according to many, many studies, cell phones do not cause cancer um, right here it says studies done in lab most animal and laboratory studies have found no evidence of increased risk of cancer with exposed rf radiation a few studies have reported evidence of biological effects that could be linked to cancer and using this meter you can find out if where you're sleeping and your kids are sleeping have a radiation field so let's go switch it to magnetic. And you can see right here, it's past three and it's considered high. And we're on the outside of the bed, it drops below uh, three in the safe zone. But if you move it toward the inside of the bed, look how high that is. So if he sleeps near that wall, you see how high that is. So I might have to move this bed or have them sleep on the outside of the bed for now. So I'm going to check out my Samsung S5 for radiation I'm using this meter, the tri-field meter model 100 XE and it detects three fields of radiation, magnetic, electric, and RF. So first thing we're going to do is try out the EMF electromagnetic field and see, and see you can see that's very high which is not good and it looks like it's steady and it fluctuates a little bit but it's uh, considered kind of high in my opinion so anything above a three that's considered high according to this uh, manual the tri-field meter manual the electric field so the electric field is sitting relatively kind of low when I turn on the phone right there the phone's on it goes we're looking at the top bar now not the middle bar anymore the top bar and it, it goes way past four up to five, let's see, about like, oh, about like 20 right there, which is also considered high. 
and the RF field. The RF field, look at the bottom bar, and that should not go past 0.1, which is considered high. Now, if I probably if I take a phone call, or maybe if I stream something on YouTube, that'll probably go past 0.1. So let's go ahead and try that. Yeah, there it goes, see? Now I'm on the 4G, and it's way, look how high that is. The RF is uh, way past 0.1, that's very high. Now, if you, there's ways to avoid all this. You can turn it off, it'll lower the radiation amount. Um, you can put it in airplane mode, I guess. But my suggestion is to get a Bluetooth headset. So let's try that out, the radiation on that should be lower. So there's the Bluetooth headset. It is on right now. It's blinking, see? And let's check out the magnetic field. And my magnetic field looks like it's way lower. It's below three, the middle bar. And it goes right up to three, but it goes back down to about like one and a half, which is safe. Let's try the electric field. It's very low. We're looking at that top bar. And it's barely, the needle's barely moving. Let's look at the RF field. The RF field is also very low. So Bluetooth is way lower radiation field. My watch is also Bluetooth. Let's check the radiation coming out of my watch. So I'm gonna jump on the browser right there. And let's click on Amazon or something. And it should be, there it goes. You just saw the needle move a little bit. And I am in RF mode. And it's still way below 0.1. So it's it's safe. The screen's still loading. Electric is pretty close to zero. The magnetic field, electromagnetic field, is still kind of zero. It's floating around one. We're right, looking at the middle bar, by the way. So it looks pretty safe. So uh, Bluetooth watches and Bluetooth headsets, thumbs up I give it. Now if you're a type of person that has the laptop on your lap, you're basically nuking your nuts for a couple hours. So my suggestion is get a desk and Bluetooth headset. Um, so yeah, about like six inches away, look how much it goes down, big time. So if you're about like zero to one, one inches away, it goes, it's, it's in the high zone electromagnetic field. But if you're about like three or four inches away, it's safe. Now I'm even gonna test it on a, a light right here. So this is like pretty standard light. And right about here, you can see that it goes really high. So if your head's near a lamp, move your head. And the electric radiation field is also very high. It's floating around 70. Magnetic field right here. When it's real, we have to be real close actually. That's floating way past three, about four or five. You shouldn't be that close to a light anyway. So if you're sitting in a tanning bed, yeah, you're, you're dousing yourself with a lot of radiation. And an RF field. So the RF field right here, you can see, and it's really high. It's way past 0.1. So if you're in a tanning bed, I would suggest do a spray tan. So I'm gonna put my meter right now in microwave mode, RF field. And anything above a 0.1 on the bottom that you're looking at, anything above a 0.1, which is right there, is considered high. So let's go ahead and check that out. I'm gonna hit start. And right there, so you can see how high that gets. Electric field is kinda low. Uh, magnetic field is really high. So the magnetic field is spiked all the way to the end. You can see right there. And I'm about like six feet away. And about seven feet away, right here, it drops. You can see, and anything below three, right there, is safe. I switch it to microwave RF mode, and it's way past point one. So about like seven feet away, you should be in a microwave. If you're one of the type of per person, you know, people that put their face to that freaking window, you're nuking your brain. So if you think this video was informative, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. If you want to inform someone else. Click on the share button below and share it to Facebook or G+. And subscribe to Tampa Tech for more easy tech reviews. So if you think that this video... So if you think this video was informed...